Hey guys, Top Pops here, and today I forgot my SD card, so we're going to be recording on my phone, but that's okay because we're at the mall and we're going to be going over to, I guess, we could go to Spirit Halloween, EB Games, and Sunrise Records, so fingers crossed they've got something, and let's get started. Well, everybody, I did some digging and I even asked. They don't have any of the pops in yet, but I will be getting this blanket for my mom since she's been looking for it for a while, and it's the last one left. And now that we got my mom's blanket, let's go into our next store, EB Games. Also, hi Noah, hi Emily. All right, everybody, so I'm looking around in the pop section here, and I didn't think that there was much that I was looking for at first, but then when I really started digging, I noticed some cool ones like the General Grievous, which is a bit of a weird one because it's normally exclusive to Hot Topic. So I guess EB Games is also getting them here in Canada. Kind of cool. And then goes over here, they have some more of the Dark Trooper. They've got Hunter, and then just a little bit above that. Where did it go? I saw it a second ago. Ah, there it is up there, guys. The Bounty Hunter Collection IG-88. I'm definitely going to be getting that today. And guys, this was kind of hidden in the back, but I found this Art Series Sally, which is kind of pricey, but it's definitely a neat one. So I, I think I'm gonna get it today. I don't know. I'm gonna be holding on to it for now because it is the last one they've got. And then it seems like that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna be getting today. So if you guys want to check out the entire section, here it is right here. And if there's anything that stands out, please put it in the comment section below. All right, so I got all of my stuff over at EB Games. Now let's go into Sunrise Records. So if you guys have seen some of my videos before, you would know that the Sunrise Records section is massive. But the problem is, is it doesn't seem like they got much in that I'm looking for today. So I'm kind of just digging around to see if there's anything that I might have missed from past hunts. And it seems the first thing that I found is this right here, the Harry Potter Pop Mystery Mini Snow Globe. I mean, we might as well get it, why not? And since we're here, I might as well show off some of the more interesting exclusives like Leech from Masters of the Universe. I also saw, well, this one isn't exclusive, but it is the Skeletor on Night Stalker, definitely an interesting one. We've got Lola Bunny as Wonder Woman, Kung Fu Kevin, a bunch of the Space Jam ones, and it looks like they're finally out of bugs, which is actually a pretty hard one to find for a while. Over here, guys, they've got like blood work from The Flash. We also have some of the ones from The Boys down here. I see Batman, the Imperial Batman, Imperial Robin. And then at the very bottom here, we've got some of the mini moments which I actually did get in a little while ago and definitely have to make a video on still. I just don't know. Do you guys want to see it? And then as we get a little bit farther over, guys, I noticed they've got Mortal Kombat, the Golden Girls, Godzilla, actually one of the Diamond Collection ones. This one here is the Diamond Sophia. We've got the Diana Revealed, which is definitely an interesting one. And then this Alien Exposed, which I've never seen the television show before, but that is an interesting figure. And now, guys, we've run into the superhero section. And out of all of these ones here, I've pretty much got the ones that I wanted, but there is one that I've kind of been thinking about getting, and it is the Doctor Fate. And I think today is finally the day we grab this one. And I guess here's the last section. I don't know if I'm going to be getting anything from here but this is like star wars as well as rick and morty and rocks all mixed together and they definitely are some neat figures and we are back and we're also on the camera I apologize for that one. I don't even know how I could have forgot it. Well, I think I know what it was. I usually have to remember just the SD card, but then today I also had to remember the battery, so I remembered one thing but not the other. And whatever, it's fine. We got the hunt done. I just had to do it on my phone, which is okay, but the audio is not the greatest on it, so I hope you guys could hear me all right. But anyways, now that we're back, let's go through all of the different stuff that I got today, and I guess let's start with Spirit Halloween, where I only got one thing, and this thing is pretty interesting. And no, it's not a Funko product, but I swear Funko's made something very similar to this. Actually, just the other day, I showed off one of the blankets like this, but this one here is the Haunted Mansion one, made by, I guess, Disney and Spirit Halloween, because it's got the Spirit Halloween logo right on it. And I know that there was music really loud next to me in the store, but what I said while I was there was this one here's for my mom, and I was actually noticing that they only had one of them left on the floor, so I'm glad that I could grab it. If you guys want to check it out, there it is right there, and also, if you guys want to see it, there is the Spirit Halloween logo printed right onto the actual, like, cardboard, uh, whatever it is. And there was two different blankets, and I wasn't exactly sure which one she wanted, but it seemed like it was this one here because the other one, I believe, was just the Madame Leota, like, really huge one. This one here has, like, all of the different things from the ride, which is actually a really nice blanket. Now, I'm not gonna open it up right now because it is, of course, my mom's, but if you guys want to check it out, there is the actual, like, I guess, design for the blanket right there if you guys do want to check it out. Oh, and I also want to mention that I do know somebody that works over at Spirit Halloween, and she was letting me know that they should be getting in some Funko products soon. She mentioned something about the 13-day advent calendar. Now, I know that I already have that one, and we opened it up last 
last year leading up to Halloween, but maybe they'll be getting in other stuff as well. So fingers crossed we'll find something in the near future at Spirit Halloween. Now guys, let's get into the stuff that we got over at EB Games, which is actually a pretty good amount for today. I got how many different figures? Uh, actually two. And then I also got two things over at Sunders Records, which is also in the bag. Hey guys, the first figure that we got over at EB Games was the Nightshade Sally. And I didn't think that they were going to be getting these ones in. I actually didn't know where they were going to be going, but it seems like they aren't actually exclusive to one place. It's just like the art series sticker on the front, which I think is pretty neat. And if you guys are wondering, these figures are a little bit more expensive because of the hard stacks. And I think I mentioned it in the store, but they're actually $29.99 or $26.99 if you have an edge card. So it's an okay deal because figures there are normally like, I think exclusives are $20. So you're getting a hard stack for like five bucks, which I think isn't that bad. And if you guys want to check out the Sally out of the hard stack, here she is right here. And also if you guys want to check out the back of the box, there's the rest of the set right there. And you guys might remember a little while ago, I was actually able to get the Jack Skellington one. So it's cool that I have the Sally to go with Jack. And now we might as well take her out of the box while she's here. And this one is definitely an interesting one. Like it's a different material than what they normally use. It feels kind of like, uh, not cheaper, just different, I guess you could say. It almost feels like it's made of like... I don't know exactly, maybe like fiberglass is what it kind of feels like, but I know it's definitely not made of that. It just kind of reminds me of that texture. And if you guys want to check her out out of the box, here she is right here. And it almost seems like she's covered in like a thorn camo. It's kind of neat. And when I first got the figure, I thought it was bats all over. But now that I'm looking at it again, you can see on the back here where her hair is that it kind of doesn't look like bats. It's more like some sort of thorn bush going all the way around her. And then after Sally, guys, I got one more figure over at EB Games, and I'm sure you guys know what it is. But this one here is the Deluxe IG-88. And now I definitely want to pop this one out of the box because of how detailed these figures are because they give you the background there and then they also give you an updated sculpt of the character. And I'm so excited about this IG-88 because I don't think I have one of him in my collection. And I remember a long time ago they did make an IG-88, but he was exclusive to the Smuggler's Bounty Box, so I never was able to get him. And if you guys want to check him out, here he is right here. Like, this is definitely an interesting one. And if you guys are wondering why it comes on the background here, it's because there are, I believe, six or seven of these figures that connect together. Yeah, it is seven. And if you guys want to check it out on the back, there they are right there. Now, I can't show you the Boba Fett. I do have Boba Fett in hand, but the problem is, is because we're packing up here at the office, I don't actually have it with me here. If you guys watched part one of my Cleaning Up the Office series, you'll definitely know where it went. I had a bunch of bins here that we had to just fill with figures, and the floor does look a lot cleaner here. Now, it's just too bad because that Boba Fett was inside one of those bins. And I apologize about that, but if you guys want to see how they stick together, it's nothing too fancy. Like, there's no clicks or anything like that. It's literally just these little bumps on both sides. But anyways, guys, I'm glad that I could grab this figure today. Also, his head is really bobbly. Like, look at this thing. Also, it's really loud as well. Do you guys hear that? Like, listen to that. <laughs> it's crazy. And now let's get into what I got over at Sunrise Records. And I didn't really get much because they didn't seem to have gotten much in since the last time I was there, but I did get a mystery mini as well as a pop. And I guess let's start with the mystery mini. And if you guys have never seen these before, maybe you want to see the box again. Here it is right here. So it's a little bit different from a normal mystery mini because you're actually getting a mystery snow globe inside with one of the Harry Potter characters. And if you guys want to check the back, there they are right there with all of their rarities. And now I have opened up, I believe, two of these in the past because they actually seem pretty hard to find. Like I've never seen an entire case of them. So I just kind of grab them whenever I see them. And I've gotten a Harry Potter as well as a Dumbledore. So I'm pretty much just hoping for anybody except for those two. And so anyways, guys, let's just get into this and let's find out who we got. Also, if you guys want to check it out, the packaging is a little bit different inside of these as well probably to keep the snow globe safe. But anyways, let me see if I can get this thing out of here. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Please don't be Harry Potter or Dumbledore. It is Hermione. I'll take it. Oh, 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 oh hold on. I got the one in 72 Hermione. Okay, this is neat. So there's a couple different versions of Hermione. And I thought that she was just her in her dress. But then I noticed that this is actually her in her actual school robe. And that one is a one in 72. Now, I know it is kind of hard to see because of the snow glowing snow glowing snow going around the globe but you guys can see that is her definitely in her school robe so i guess it was a good idea to pick up the last box they had and if you guys are wondering this is the one that i thought i got like i thought they only had one version of hermione but apparently they had two and i got this one right here which is a one in 72 and i know i've probably said it's a one in 72 a couple times already but i mean it is pretty exciting especially because the other two figures that i got inside of here were both one in six and now guys let's get on to the last figure for today which is dr fate and i was talking to the guy while i was cashing out and he was letting me know that Dr. Fate is apparently going to be in a movie coming soon or at least that's what he told me. I haven't heard anything about it but I definitely think that it was a good idea to get this figure because I enjoy the pop but also he might go up in value because this is the first ever Dr. Fate pop. 
And I'm honestly surprised that I left this one behind last time I saw it because it is actually a really neat figure now that I've been looking at it for a while. I mean, I have also been trying to get the Justice League figures whenever I can, or at least the newer Justice League figures, so it is nice that I could grab this one today. And if you guys want to check out the Doctor Fate a little bit closer up here, he is right here. Like, seriously, this is a neat figure. And also, I really do enjoy when they use the cape to make the figure float. So if you look here, it does look like he's flying and that the cape is just hardly touching the ground. And I looked it up really quickly, guys, just to see, and Doctor Fate is going to be in a Black Adam movie. And also, Black Adam is going to be played by Dwayne Johnson. Sounds pretty interesting. And this is what I'm talking about. Even though Doctor Fate isn't a huge character at the moment, I feel like this one could do pretty well in the future if he is a main character in the movie. And well, anyways, guys, that is pretty much everything for today. And please let me know in the comment section below if you guys have gone hunting recently. And if so, did you guys pick up anything good? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, never drop a low. Mama called me and she happy with the grow. Never yeah. ever fall for a party that's a no. Just pop the kidney about a million options. So it's talking to stop doing the green. And I'm rocking green is bringing the peace. I'm bumping that pot in the car. Pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got a bad baby and she's independent.